Welcome to Spanish 312. The importance of being proficient in English and Spanish is key to this course. We will give both languages equal importance. Blackboard is our primary tool. The menu on the left lists seven modules. The course is designed around modules, and in each module folder you will find assignments, which you will find that they all come from the textbook. So if you read the textbook, you can do the assignments easily. Also, lectures. The lectures are based on the content of the textbooks. Make sure you listen to them as many times as it is necessary. Also, six discussion board assignments. These are short excerpts, translations in English and Spanish, which all can see with my comments. I will be commenting on each one of your submissions. Another activity is five interactive activities. The information is given in the folder. Again, five hours of oral translation is required, done at your convenience. There will be two formal translations, English to Spanish and Spanish to English, as we will have a midterm and a final exam. In the final exam, the oral translation module 2B will be included in the final. The textbooks that we'll be using are meaning-based translations, which covers 14 chapters of that book, and one chapter, that is chapter four, of Introducción a la Traductología. And also, a couple of chapters of social services, medicine, and criminology. These are very short. We will be looking at two schools of translation. The American school, which bases its approach on looking at meaning, and the Canadian school, which bases its approach on linguistics. However, this is not a linguistics course, so we will be looking at examples of this approach. The assignments I have described may seem like a lot, but really they are not. This course is designed around various activities to give you a chance to make up points if you get low scores in one or more areas. You will find that at least you will be slow in performing written and oral translations at first, but practicing both will make it easier for you. You will know how to start and how to approach a translation. As you practice translation, it will become easier and easier to approach it. Please know that I'm available to you. Write me or come to my office if you're on campus. I look forward to working with you in this course 312B.